He is ugly. Just because this is one of the best comic book designs in history, that doesn't mean it cannot be made massively worse. Sometimes this old thing has to be remade. You know the deal. Logo changes, color changes, slight design tweaks and liberties taken. You know, sometimes you get... Or you get... Is this something that can be avoided? Yes. Why do you think I'm telling you all this? There are several ways that you can redesign this costume and make it even cooler or just as cool as the original. And there are several ways that you can make it look like complete ass. And I'm gonna show you what to do and what not to do by showing you some of the good classic suits, some mediocre classic suits, and some bad classic suits. Okay, before you murder me for this, please let me explain myself. This suit is still really good, but it's just got some small issues I think I have to cover. I think the eyes on this suit are way too thick at the top, and they're angled in such a way that it leaves the bottom half of his face looking completely empty, which I'll elaborate on later. Also, I think the back logo on this suit is slightly darker than the rest of the red on this costume, which is odd. I tried looking at this in the remaster, but this might have been something that they fixed. But I remember it being noticeably darker in the original version of the game. But I'll print a retraction if I'm wrong. I haven't printed a retraction in 20 years! Some people have also noted that the torso of this costume is a bit odd, because of the formatting of the red and blue. It cuts off the web line that travels down to the belt line. Some people don't like it. Eh, I don't really either. Also, there are some points on this suit where the webbing is slightly distorted. You can even see it in the remaster. You can see it at the glove line and even some points on the belt. This costume is pretty good, even if it fumbles the bag in some areas. Just like you fumble the bag if you don't subscribe. I heard that everyone who doesn't subscribe gets ball cancer. And you don't want ball cancer, do you? Think about your family. Think about them. All right, let's get to some stinkers. Marvel's Midnight Suns recently dropped a gameplay trailer where they revealed their Spider-Man suit. I, I gotta say, this thing stinks. Let's not be too negative. I like the embedded darker webbing. I love the colors and the fabric is quite nice. I also love how the red fabric is slightly raised. That's it. It's time to start crying. <laughs> this spider logo stinks. I think having a spider logo that conforms to a small shape sucks, and I've only rarely ever seen it work super well. I mean, look at this thing. It's shaped like a heart. The real reason why Spider-Man's usual back logo works so well is because it usually frames his back and his sides. Whether it be big or small, Spider-Man's back logo is a tool to be used by designers to shape Spider-Man's back musculature. For example, the longness of the back logo in both Amazing Spider-Man movies. These back logos highlight how lean Andrew is in his costume, due to the length of this logo. It accents his height, but this back logo thinks it's supposed to be like a Christmas ornament or something. It's just hanging off the arch on Spider-Man's back. How pathetic. And these eyes are way too far apart. And the eyes don't even shape Spider-Man's head very well. They're way too angled to be that big. Usually, bigger lenses stretch both downwards and upwards so they can cover as much of Spider-Man's face as possible in the most natural way as possible. You cannot have them be this angled if they're gonna be this massive. It leaves way too much space on his cheeks, and it makes the mask look kinda lopsided. This was me elaborating. Also, look, I don't really care if you put segments in your costume. I won't burn you at the stake for it. If you make cuts at the shoulders and belt, I have no issue with that. Some say it overcomplicates the design, some like to make a huge fuss over it, but I don't really have an issue with it. Unless you put the segments on stupid places like the sleeves or the clavicle. But this costume is definitely an example of doing way too much. I mean, look at the belt, man! Segmenting the front is fine, but why would you segment the back? Not only is the back left completely empty from a lack of back logo, but the belt doesn't even shape his belt line anymore, just his hips. This suit does every bad thing it does so bad that it should be an example of how not to do a belt or spider logos or anything else for that matter next all right let's get to another terrible classic suit one almost as recent as the last the future revolution spider-man suit this game has some pretty decent spider-man outfits and too bad the classic one looks like complete shit firstly they went for the worst shade of red and blue possible a leather-esque brownish red and a grayish blue. Why the fuck would you go for the grayest blue possible, only to make the red look just as dark? This looks like shit. 
I'm tired of people talking about how darker fabrics on superhero costumes are more realistic, when in reality it's complete horseshit that darker colors would enhance the realism, especially for a character like Spider-Man. If you went to Joanne's Fabrics or went on Amazon to look for red fabric for your Spider-Man outfit, you would probably find bright red fabric, not shitty doo-doo brown red fabric. Oh, but it would, but it would get dirty, therefore making it darker. Do you know what a washing machine is? Have you heard of a washing machine? Uh, let's get to the logo. I mean, it's fine, I guess. It's actually pretty okay on the front. Let's look at the one on the back. It, it's the same one. It's, it's the exact same one as the one on the front. Seriously? You guys couldn't even make a back logo? This one doesn't even shape his back either. This would unironically work better if you flipped it upside down. Then it would actually line his sides, therefore making it look good. The format of his suit sucks too. The red portion is way too wide on his chest and it makes his torso look massive compared to his bare blue arms. And since it's so wide, you can barely even notice Spider-Man's belt. At least the web pattern is decent, although some might not like the lack of horizontal webbing on the belt. Nah! Alright, so you know how the last two suits at least had some redeeming qualities? Like, they both at least did a few things right, or at least pretty decently. This next suit does almost everything wrong. I don't even I don't even know where to start with this costume. Let's start with the bracket webbing. I don't I don't really enjoy it on this costume. I think it's one of those changes that fans automatically hate at first before they start to form an opinion on it. But for me it just doesn't really feel like at all a necessary change and it doesn't really affect the quality of the costume for me at all. Like why is it here? Why did they feel the need to add this? It doesn't really contribute to an obvious theme or anything. Unless the theme is hyper techy modernism or something like that, which would explain why the front logo looks like this. I think this logo could work, I guess, but they completely fucked it by adding blue to the center of the logo. Why? It makes the rest of the logo feel like it should be colored in, but it won't work because the logo is too small anyway. And on that note, you shouldn't really color in the logo at all. It's not even big enough to justify doing that, and it just overcomplicates the spider for no reason. The one on the back isn't as bad, but at the same time, the red spider is lined with some weird shiny black material, and on top of that, it's got some weird ass lines in it. At least it properly lines his sides this time. It also has those accursed MCU lines on the blue portions. They look pretty abysmal on these black and white renders, but at least they're a bit hard to spot in color. Why does he have them on his biceps? Why does he have circles on his bi- This is not the first time this has been done. Why do they keep doing this? Alright, let's finally shoot the elephant in the room. The belt. This is not how you do a segmented belt. It is just barely visible in the front. Why? Why would you do this? Not only that, they added a fake belt line where the real one is supposed to be. Why? The only thing I like about this suit are the gloves and the boots. I like the way they're shaped, and they come up quite high. Well, at least they chose decent colors for this thing, too. Next! Alright, so I showed you some stinkers, some ass wipes, some lamos. Now what? Now I show you some good classic suits, that's what. I think you'll notice a consistency between all of these. The Edge of Time suit is one of the best versions of the classic costume of all time. And you wanna know why? Because it barely fucking changes the original costume! There's only one change this costume makes. Just one. There's only one liberty this costume takes. The messy webbing. And it is an absolutely well thought out change that contributes to the theme of this costume. Which is... A slightly darker theme than usual. The eyes are blank, void of any emotion. The webbing is messy and unkempt. The spider logos are sharp and jagged. The colors are slightly muted, which normally I would hate, but here it works because it leans into being drabby. This costume works because it doesn't try to completely overhaul the original, and it's hailed as one of the greatest classic suits ever made for that very reason. And guess what? You know that shitty Avengers suit I showed you from earlier? Do you want to know the one you have before you unlock that one? Come on! Why would I want? Why would I want to change out of this? Why would I want to wear this suit over this one? Come on! The colors are bright, small liberties are taken, and the logos are classic. And he has a fat ass. Come on! Do I really have to explain to you why this costume is good? I, I mean, some people might not like the uber glassy eyes, but still, you can't deny that everything else about this costume is absolute heat. 
There are only three minor issues with this costume that people might get hung up on, but I don't care. I still think it looks good. The belt isn't pointed, the eyes might not be for all, and the legs of the back logo are a bit too stiff for me. But that's it. That is literally it. This costume is a 9.9 .9 out of 10. Amazing. That's all I have to say today. This costume is already so good. You don't need to add all this miscellaneous doo-doo farty ass shit to make it better. Now subscribe to my channel, or I'll come to your house. Alright, yeah, I wanted to put out a shorter video for you guys because I wanted you to have some short and bite-sized before you could munch on this fat-ass content I'm whipping up for you. Uh, it'll probably be out sometime this week, but I'm essentially going to be pitching my own Spider-Man cartoon in the next video with fully drawn art. So please look out. There's all kinds of shit in that video. There's other Marvel superheroes, all kinds of villains, plot lines, stories, pitches, Spider-Man actually being in a committed relationship for once. Get excited, get hyped, it's coming out next week. I'd also like to announce that my channel now has memberships, where I will be giving you all kinds of perks for joining the channel. All you have to do is click the join button, which is right next to the subscribe button, and you can see all the perks there. Don't do it if you're not monetarily sound. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And I, of course, will see you guys in the next video. Also, I got a new mic. Thanks. Thanks, Khalib. Bye!